Hi guys, uh, in this training tutorials, I'd like to uh, show you guys how to set up uh, Omron's NX102 PLC to talk to the perfect HMI. So uh, firstly, I just uh, create a project using the NX102 PLC. As uh, you guys uh, you can see, uh, I just uh, create the uh, configure uh, uh, some uh, digital uh, input output uh, module in the local uh, connection like uh, this. And for this NX102 PLC, uh, actually it's, uh, if you want to use the local connection, it is uh, necessary to add on the, this one of this uh, power supply uh, module to uh, supply the local uh, 24 volt DC for the IOS uh, DC bus. So uh, we just uh, get started and we can come to the global uh, variables to create uh, some uh, variables uh, just uh, for our uh, uh, testing. Firstly, uh, like uh, I just uh, create a start button. So uh, later on, so we want to put uh, this uh, start button onto the HMI and also the other one we just create a stop button so uh, this one will be um, stop button it's also it's a uh, uh, data format it's a boolean and we can create a output like uh, we can say it's a motor call you something like that and we also can create a data display like a data 1 or data 2 whatever so uh, for the format we can change it to integer and we can get another one um, so uh, before uh, doing this uh, training tutorial, actually so I have done some research on the perfect uh, Omron PLC driver. So uh, it said uh, um, they also uh, improved the uh, Omron PLC driver as well. Looks like uh, they have a supported data array. So uh, we can just uh, create a data like uh, for data display. So uh, we can put a array like uh, 20 of them. So you can see this is uh, from array from the from uh, data display uh, uh, bracket 0 to 19. It's all together is uh, 20 uh, uh, words. So uh, that's uh, pretty much uh, we want to put it onto the perfect HMI. So uh, if you like, you can put uh, some comments like a uh, perfect HMI and perfect HMI, something like that. Um, of course, uh, um, for the physical uh, PLC IOs, you're going to assign the IO to the specific uh, bits, like uh, I'm doing now. So uh, for the rest of them, I just want to use the uh, auto way to create the to create the, all of the variables. As you know, then it also for the Omron, uh, uh, this uh, uh, NJNX PLC is uh, purely using the uh, variables name to do uh, variable tag to do the programming. So uh, it's uh, not like a C series PLC. You have to remember the different uh, PLC memory, whatever. For uh, this uh, NJNX PLC, as long as uh, you create the variables and you can use them to do the programming easily so uh, that will be saying you know, much much easier for customer to do the programming whatever 
So uh, of course uh, we can come to here to uh, simply to create a program. Like uh, we can get a start button and control it, uh, a output like uh, with the motor coil. And yeah, uh, we also can put it uh, the stop button. So uh, this is uh, will be like a uh, one is uh, normal close and the other one is uh, normal so open and we just uh, put it um, use the motor's uh, coil itself to do the uh, self locking yeah that is uh, pretty much it's a very simple uh, program. So we just uh, want to use uh, this one to talk to the talk to the perfect HMI. So uh, as you can see, as soon as uh, we create the uh, use auto way to create all of the variables, and we can uh, come to uh, this IO global uh, variables to see all of them. See, I. Uh, we have done so all of this, uh, you know, the verbal tags. So uh, that is the most uh, next steps is uh, how can we share all of this data to the perfect HMI. So um, that is the important uh, step. Firstly, we need to publish our uh, variables. So, which means uh, if you want to share the data to, you know, so to the perfect, uh, you're gonna to uh, set up the network publish. Like uh, I want to publish uh, this uh, start button or stop button, and uh, this kind of thing, so, you know, so to the to the perfect HMI. So um, probably so we just uh, leave the programs. Uh, um, PLC programs in here first, and we can and later on we can uh, just uh, you know so create the use the perfect HMI software to create a connection. So uh, we want to set up the uh, publish. Like uh, I want to publish uh, this uh, start button, stop button, and uh, motor call you and also data as well, and, and this data too, and also this uh, uh, array data as well, because uh, we want to share all of these uh, variables to the perfect HMI. So um, the the thing is, uh, it also how can we share all of these? Uh, firstly, we need to publish all of these data and secondly we need to come to here to export all of the variables that we have uh, uh, established the the properties and like you know start buttons and whatever so we're going to click on this uh, export uh, global variables to cx de designer so um that is uh, pretty much uh, similar as uh, uh, outputs the variables uh, to the Omron and uh, series HMI. So um, they uh, looks like uh, perfect. It's also using the same way to uh, to grab the data uh, variables uh, from the Omron and X102 PLC. So uh, once we uh, set up the and also publish all of the data, we can uh, just uh, click on tools and come to here, so click on this uh, export the uh, the the variables to the to the uh, perfect HMI. So we can click on this uh, CX designer. So as soon as uh, we click on this uh, output the, the data to CX designer, you can see we already uh, copied to the uh, clipboard so uh, later on we will see how can we easily just uh, you know, so copy and paste our uh, uh, all of these uh, variables to the uh, perfect HMI so um, now we just uh,
bring up the purpose uh, software. So uh, we we don't have to do that. We just uh, create a new project, and from here I just uh, just uh, uh, choose uh, a normal uh, a H I probably we just uh, choose a, a big one. It's a fifteen inch. HMI so, uh, make sure come with the the Ethernet ports as well because uh, we want to use the Ethernet to talk to the perfect HMI. So next thing so we gonna to uh, set up the PLC driver. And um, actually, uh, if you like, you can uh, just uh, you know, so, uh, set up the project first and also the later on so you uh, change the PLC manufacturer but uh, uh, I'd like to uh, set up in the beginning so uh, looks like uh, this uh, perfect uh, HMI is uh, support uh, quite well so about uh, uh, so many different brands so uh, uh, in this training so we want to have a try on Omron's NX102 PLC so we choose uh, Omron's uh, Corporation, and for the drivers, uh, we need to uh, choose uh, this CSCJ NJ series uh, Ethernet IP uh, uh, driver. So, uh, if uh, you uh, uh, you want to know some more uh, details, uh, you can have a look uh, uh, the the PDF uh, menus uh, from the uh, software. So, uh, from here. You can see uh, we need to choose uh, this CJCS NJ series uh, EIPs, uh, um, this uh, protocol, and then we can click on the, to create a new uh, uh, page. And from here, click on the project, and from here we can come to here to to change the the PLC drivers, PLCs, because uh, we have to specify the PLC. Uh, normally, so for this drivers, uh, uh, will in default uh, just uh, recognize it's uh, it's um, CJ2 PLC. So we need to uh, change it to NJ series PLC. So also we need to uh, type in the IP address. This is a PLC's IP address. Actually, it's uh, it's uh, from from here. Actually, it uh, depends on uh, what uh, which kind of IP address you set up in the PLC. For the NX one hundred two, uh, actually has a port one and also uh, port two. Both uh, uh, support uh, Ethernet IP uh, protocol. So uh, if you like, you can use the either one to do the communication comms. Um, uh, in the meanwhile, so also so this uh, uh, NX model, so 9020 uh, CPU model also support a uh, database as well. So uh, if you want to use a database, uh, you can uh, Either use uh, port one or port two. Actually, um, you can uh, make decision. So, uh, in this training tutorial, so we want to put it onto the port one. So uh, we just say you know, put the port one's uh, IP address, and then we just uh, come to here to uh, import the the variables. So, uh, because uh, you know, the, in the past we already uh, set up the publish all of the data, also export to the CX designer. Actually, just a uh, copy to the uh, clipboard. So uh, from here, you can just easily to paste all of the text. So you can see, see how simple is that. So um, by doing this way, you just easily to uh, import all of these tags to the perfect HMI. And then we just click on OK. See, uh, 
from here, it's, uh, you can see we just uh, uh, already imported the six tags. So also click on OK as well. So once we uh, click on OK, you can see this uh, PLC driver is already changed to NJ series. As I said, uh, for uh, the, the default setting will be CJ2 PLC. So you definitely need to come to here to change the default driver to the NJ series uh, PLC. And if you want to get uh, more help, uh, you can just uh, click on the help, click on the menu, and also uh, click on this uh, device to uh, PLC. Um, where are they? Uh, yes, this is almost a corporation. And then you can see uh, from here they have a list up uh, uh, all of the uh, C series uh, PLC and also the NJ NX PLC. Like uh, we just uh, testing, we are testing the, this NX 102-9020, this uh, PLC. So uh, if you want to uh, get more the details, you can just uh, simply click on this uh, web link and bring up uh, this uh, uh, menu. So go through the menus about uh, how to set up all of the, the, the tags, uh, drivers, whatever. So uh, we just come back to here. You can see uh, we have uh, um, set up the PLC driver and also uh, we changed the imported the uh, the variables to the purpose HMI. So uh, next thing, so we can just uh, uh, easily to create a simple uh, program to see how can we use the tags we just uh, imported from the NX uh, PLC. So uh, probably so we just uh, grab a uh, switch like uh, this one, we can treat it as a, as a bit uh, switch. And see, uh, you can see uh, this one is already been, uh, um, been treated as a, as a start button. Of course, uh, if you like, you can change it to stop button or some different things. So uh, we can uh, just uh, use uh, this one. Of course, uh, uh, if you like, you can change it to a different color, different shape, whatever. Uh, for this training, so we just only want to show you how to uh, set up the comps. For, uh, there is nothing related to some artwork, whatever. So uh, please uh, bear with me. Um, this is uh, one button. Uh, stop button. So uh, we just uh, copy and paste. So uh, we want to get another one. Another one. So uh, for this one, we want to change it to stop button. See, you can see uh, by doing this way, uh, we can easily to change the control beat to stop button. It's very simple. So uh, for the outputs, it's uh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, this one is. Uh, for the default one, it's uh, even similar as the the push button. Yeah, and uh, as I said, uh, from here, so I only want to show you so how to set up the variables. So uh, for the artwork, so you can so make a, a your own one. So uh, like we say, we got the start and stop button. So uh, this one is the output. So uh, we want to use uh, this one to display the motors call you. So that's the way to do that. You can see we have changed it to uh, motor call you. And then we also can click on OK. And also so, uh, for the last thing that I want to uh, show you guys about uh, how to uh, do the data display. So uh, as I said, uh, I have done some research. Looks like uh, they have improved the uh, Omron's uh, PLC driver. So uh, this time uh, you also can use the data array as well. Like uh, we just uh, add on a data array. 
So uh, from here, um, because I want to change it to array, so you can say uh, from here you can change array the uh, element. Like uh, I want to use uh, uh, number three, so you can see how it works. It's uh, very simple. And um, once we click on here, we can see. Uh, some addresses and uh, like a bit addresses, word addresses. So um, that's uh, pretty much about uh, how can we easily to uh, set up the comps in between the NX one hundred two PLC and also uh, on the uh, perfect HMI uh, software as well. Um, for the perfect HMI uh, software. At the moment, I'm using the version. It uh, looks like the latest version. So uh, I remember I tried the uh, earlier sub version as well. So uh, for the earlier sub version, as long as uh, it's a version four, it all works. Yeah, but uh, be better. Uh, you can upgrade to the latest one because uh, we will support uh, uh, data's array as well. So in summary, we just uh, come back to here. Um, firstly, you, you, uh, you always need to uh, create all of the variables and also in the global variables in here. And uh, after that, you need to uh, choose uh, uh, the Verbal text uh, property, like uh, if you want to uh, share the the verbal text with uh, perfect HMI, you're gonna set up as a per, uh, publish only. Uh, of course, uh, uh, for the for the Ethernet IT, uh, you o you also can uh, set up like uh, input outputs. But uh, normally, uh, uh, for the HMI uh, communication, we the like to uh, purely uh, set up as a publish. Uh, it's uh, good enough. It's not like a, a normal uh, Ethernet IP communication. You have to figure out uh, input outputs. And once we uh, publish all of the data, you need to uh, click on these uh, tools and export to uh, all of the tags to the CX designer. Like I just mentioned, uh, this is almost uh, the way uh, to output the variables to the Omron's uh, NS series HMI. Um, but uh, looks like uh, for perfect uh, HMI also using the same way to uh, grab the data from the all of the variables to um, from NX102 PLC to the perfect HMI. So uh, that is uh, pretty much uh, uh, settings in the SysMax Studio. And in the perfect uh, GP Pro's uh, software, uh, it's a pretty straightforward. You just uh, come to here to uh, set up the PLC driver and put the IP address and input the, the Omron cell variables to the PLC, uh, to this uh, uh, HMI uh, software, it's okay. And then you can use them in your program. That's um, pretty much about uh, how can we set up the comps in between NX102 PLC and also the Perfect HMI. Thank you very much. Bye bye.